Hey, uh, in this video, I want to show you how you can provide more elaborate detailed prompts into BARD such that it gives you more effective code. So I want to create a small website. I want to write a little JavaScript code to do something. And I was like, I've forgotten my JavaScript. I haven't done that for a bit. And I didn't want to work on trying to find out the template and you know all of that or, or the usual boilerplate code. I didn't want to go find that out. So what I did was to send that request to BARD. Um, and I said, uh, write HTML JavaScript code to find out the principal amount, etc. So I'm calculating percentages and I'm just reversing it, right? Instead of giving me the percentage, given the percentage and amount, give me the principal. So once I ran that uh, prompt, um, it gave me some code, right? So what I did was to go take that uh, into my uh, into a Vim uh, editor, I put that in there and this is what I have, right? So let's see how this works. This is the uh, original file that I got. I'm going to run this, let's see. I put a percentage of 10, I put uh, the amount it corresponds to 20. In that case, how much is the uh, principal amount? And I get nothing, right? So clicking it doesn't help anything and I'm like, wait, how, why is, what is wrong with this? So one way to fix this would be to go look at this code and see what is the issue, right? Uh, alternatively, what I did, uh, one of the things that I did in this case was to go back to Bard and say, hey, you know what, in this code, clicking the button should invoke the function calculate, right? So I can see there's a function called calculate, but it's not being called. Right? So Bard uh, then goes back and says, oh, you know what, oh, in this you need to have this part, right? So if I rewrote the code now with on click equal to calculate, uh, let us see how uh, that would work, right? So it's written on click will to calculate. I just need to reload the same page. Um, and now if I put in these values, 10, 20 and calculate, it's going to give me some value, but it's wrong. Okay, so there's something wrong with the formula. But you can see that other parts of this code are right. right? And look at the prompt uh, that I gave. Um, originally, I gave the prompt saying that I need um, one editable input box for percentage. Do I have that? Yes, and I can edit it. Uh, I want a second input box for value, and I have that. And the third uh, input box should only display it, and it should be read only, right? And you can see here that I can't uh, write anything to it, right? So it's a read only. So all of that has been done right, but there's still some flaw, right? So a good part of the code uh, is correct, and it has been fixed for me. When I look at the code, uh, like I said, it gave some odd numbers. I can see that the original percentage value that it gave me was weird, right? So it's, some, it's a one plus, uh, which is not correct. So I go back into Bard and I try to kind of prompt it. I engineer the prompt to kind of make a, you know, make it do better. But somehow in this case, it doesn't work better. Maybe my uh, prompt engineering skills or prompt writing skills aren't very good. Uh, in any case, uh, you, with the given code, I was able to then go and fix it, right? So I know that percent percentage is valued by principal into 100 or the amount by principal into 100. And um, I changed that. The original one with one plus percentage, I removed that and I just put in this one, right? So now having rewritten it, let me see whether it will work um, with a new one. So I'm going to put in a percentage of 10, a value of 20, and if it's right, it should give me 200. Yeah, so that's cool. Uh, very um, very simple example. What, what it shows you is, again, the power of BARD to generate code for you, um, which is almost a small app. Right? And you can do that with uh, bigger apps also. The more, for example, a screen in an um, a iPhone app or an iOS uh, app or a screen in an Android app or a website, right? So those kind of things can be done. Uh, play around with it. Let me know what you're able to do and I'll be glad to hear that. Thank you.